Hello, welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time, welcome to Souk Media. I am, um, where do we start? So I use DaVinci Resolve for editing. I have an FX, Sony FX3 um, that I use for shooting. And I recently bought a Atomos Shogun Connect uh, recorder monitor. And I was basically looking at the different um, file formats to record uh, video to. Um, I was looking at the internal um, file formats that the Sony uh, FX3 uh, records, um, as well as looking at the, the external uh, ProRes, and in this case, ProRes RAW. I think basically what I found out was that ultimately it's best to record in ProRes RAW um, mainly because it gives you far more flexibility when it comes to the post-production side. And obviously DaVinci Resolve being the uh, the color grading juggernaut that it is, um, obviously you want to have maximum control of, of the files, um, you know, in post. <clears throat> so I was looking at how, well, obviously it's pretty straightforward to record Pro, uh, ProRes RAW um, with an FX3 and uh, an Atomos uh, recorder monitor. Um, but the issue is obviously that DaVinci Resolve does not support um, ProRes RAW. And, uh, you know, we don't need to go into the politics of it or anything. But ultimately, I think that that um, Blackmagic Design are well within their right to, to restrict uh, ProRes RAW from being used in their software because obviously they have their B-RAW and you know if they're a business they can kind of do whatever they want to do and, and I, I don't really see any issue with that obviously it's frustrating when you when you're basically recording in ProRes RAW um, and you're not able to actually uh, you know import it directly into uh, DaVinci Resolve so I started digging 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 and you know, I realized that there's, there's, there's 110 ways of basically skinning the cat. Now, obviously, uh, one of the solutions is to basically run um, Final Cut Pro, because obviously uh, ProRes RAW runs natively in, um, in, in Final Cut. Uh, so you basically import the stuff into there and then basically export it. Um, that's fine, but the trouble is that Final Cut costs 300 pounds and you know i don't really want to go into a whole new different you know uh, video editing ecosystem so so there was that option but then then obviously there's premiere pro as well um but it's the same thing you have to pay for you know the app so and then 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 obviously then looking online and finding out that there actually is you know a raw converter which basically what it does is take the ProRes raw and convert it into a DNG file um, which can then be imported into DaVinci Resolve um, that seems pretty good as well um, but again it's, it's just seemed a slightly convoluted way of, of doing things um, you know converting it to a D DNG file um, and also it, it's I think it's 100 pound so you know um, I, I, you know, I, I, I was a little bit, cause I, I tried the trial, but obviously with the trial, they only give you, because the thing is a, a DNG file is basically what it does. It, it, it takes the footage and basically chops it up into, into all the little frames. And then, so what with the trial, basically they give you a, a really minuscule, like 200 frames or something. And, and when you, when you get down to it, it it's so short, it's not even, you know, it, it's hardly even a trial, you know? So so I didn't I didn't go ahead and, and basically pay for pay the the hundred pound to get that, um, and then I was looking on 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 YouTube and uh, there's there's a there's a chap called Luca Bono and he was basically talking about using um, Apple Motion to actually convert um, uh, uh, ProRes RAW, um, but it did seem a little bit convoluted, um, you know, because there were certain options he went into, you know, setting the resolution and you know, the color processing and, uh, you know, and all of that sort of stuff. And it, it did seem a little bit sort of convoluted, uh, but obviously it's, it's a way of doing, it's a way of doing it. Um, so basically what happened was I, I then, I then had a look cause I thought, okay, fine, I'm just going to download a uh, final cut pro and just use the trial, the 90 day trial and see how that goes. So I went on the Apple website and, um, oh, there it is. And yeah, so I downloaded it. 
Um, but then I continued sort of having a look, and and I and I had I, I I stumbled on this compressor, and it's, and so I went onto the um, well the the app store, and and I saw wow this okay this is fifty pound. So I was like compressor, so powerful encoding delivered. So it's like okay well that's what I kind of need. Um, and when I went down to it, I think basically this is part of the Final Cut Pro um, uh, software package. Um, but obviously in this case, you can buy it separately. So I was like, okay, that's really interesting. So I, I had a look down um, and I was having a look at, you know, the different formats that you can basically convert to. And then I went down here and it says, oh, they're pristine format conversions. And it says convert ProRes RAW and ProRes RAW HQ media to other professional file formats. So I was like, okay, uh, that's 50 pound, which works out to $61, which probably if you buy it in the US, it's probably maybe like $50 anyway. But, um, so I thought, okay, that's interesting. Um, so what I basically decided to do was to buy it. And I did. And let me show you how simple, how simple this actually is to do. Now, if you have a look over here, I have a, um, I'll just, there we go. If you look, do, 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 there we go, ProRes RAW. So that's a ProRes RAW file that I basically uh, filmed. And uh, yeah, so let's let's see let's see how quickly we can actually convert this to an appropriate file that can be imported into DaVinci Resolve. So let's open up Compressor. Boom. Now I've got an uh, an M1 Max computer, um, and this obviously has the ProRes um, uh, rendering. Uh, encoders in it and decoders so uh yeah it should be pretty quick to do so what we do is basically simple open up compressor and add file so what we do is we just drag the the ProRes raw file in so we got it there yeah it's it's it's, it's it was just a it was just a test video give me a break <laughs> but basically this is it here uh it was pretty static and then it moved and yeah so that, that's basically the video there so all we do is then right click on the video then you go to add outputs and it brings down a list of different presets of files that you can save to. And if you look over here, this is, uh, here we go, ProRes, and it gives you all the different uh, ProRes file formats. And from what I understand, Pro, uh, ProRes 4444 is the way to go. And so we go, okay. And now, now it's basically part of the batch, so now, the, the great thing about this is if you had multiple files, you can basically put them all in here and then create a batch. And then what you basically do is then you go start batch. And what it basically does is now it's now it's actually processing. And let's see how quickly it goes. I mean, this is it's not a big file, but it but it was what, 20, 20, was it 23 gigs? Yeah, 23 gigs. So, you know, let's see how quickly it goes. 18, and this is in real time. Okay, it is completed. So now we go, there we go. So now we've got the ProRes 4444 4, 4, 4 file. It's, uh, yeah, it's definitely a bit chunkier, but that's to be expected. And what we do is we basically then open a blank session in DaVinci Resolve. What I'm going to basically do is take the ProRes 444 file and oh, well, let's put it into the um, media pool first. Yeah, we can do that. And there we go. That's that. Boom. So that's raw. I mean, literally, <laughs> how how more simple could it be the better than that? I mean, it's it's bizarre because I, I, I haven't heard anyone actually talk about using compressor. And... Um, yeah, when I had a look on the compressor uh, on the website, there were a lot of negative reviews and stuff, but that was, you know, most of them were for quite a number of years ago, and a lot of them were probably running on the Intel, well, they were running on the old um, Intel processors, and obviously we know how they were with, you know, with regards to um, encoding and decoding video videos and all of that, and... Um, 
yeah i mean it's it's amazing just just how yeah like there it is and uh yeah yeah so basically that's i mean this is the way to do it it's it's so simple and um and it's great that apple have actually created a, a, a standalone um application that allows you to do this i mean they didn't have to they could have forced you into you know in as as black magic are forcing you into their ecosystem apple are doing the same with final cut pro but but they've actually allowed you to um to just do it through the compressor um app and and it's, and well it's 50 pound it's it's half the price of raw converter um and it and and it actually does a, a straight you know conversion from prores raw to prores you know um so yeah i mean this is it done deal Pff, finished i hope you enjoyed this video and um and i'd love to hear your comments you know down below and what you think about this um i mean unless unless i've got something completely wrong but from what i understand uh, you know it seems it seems like we've got what we needed to and it was really you know what four or five clicks and and we were done and the fact that it took it was so quick to um to actually, uh, you know, um, convert the file is, is amazing. Um, so yeah, done. We're out of here. This is it. Boom. <laughs> cool. Thanks a lot for watching and I will uh, see you in the next video. So, um, in the meantime, uh, have a good shooting time. Cheers.